Okay, if we have an equation like um, x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 9, uh, this is going to be a circle, and uh, the center of the circle would be the ordered pair positive 3. The x value would be positive 3. Uh, the way I like to think about this is what x value makes the x part 0. So if x is 3, this yellow thing is 0. And then the y value is what makes the y part 0, which would be positive 2. So the center would be the ordered pair 3, comma 2. Notice that the positive 3 is the opposite of the negative 3 here, and the positive 2 is the opposite of the negative 2 here. They're always the opposites of what go inside there. Okay, so the center is at 3, comma 2, and the radius, the radius is half the distance across a circle. The radius would be the square root of 9, because up here you can see the radius is squared. So this number is squared, so the square root would be the square root of 9, and so the square root of 9 is 3. So now you could actually graph this circle, plot the center. Now remember the center is not actually part of the circle here. The order pair 3, 2 is right here. We're going to measure from there to get points for our circle. The radius is 3, so I need to go out a distance of 3 from here. So I'll go 3 to the right, and 1, 2, 3 to the left, 3 up, 1, 2, 3, 3 down, 1, 2, 3. And now I may have enough points to draw the basic shape of my circle. Uh, not doing a very good job though. Let's try that again. I don't think my grid here is quite square, but so that would be the circle. That's the the set of all points that are three units away from the center point here. Uh, from here to here is three units. From here to any point on the circle should be three units. So here's another equation of a circle. The center in this case. Uh, the, x, the number that makes the x part 0 would be negative 1. The number that makes the y part 0 is 0, just because y is not being added or subtracted from anything. The radius would be the square root of 12, which is, um, if you pull the perfect square 4 out, that becomes a 2, so you have 2. And then if you pull the 4 out of 12, you've got a 3 left, so you've got 2 square roots of 3, uh, which is approximately, looks like 3.5. So. Now if we want to graph the circle, my center is at negative 1, 0 right here. And I need to go 3.5 units in every direction here. So 1, 2, 3.5 puts me at a point here. 1, 2, 3.5 puts me at a point there. 1, 2, 3.5 puts me up here. 1, 2, 3.5 puts me down here. And so our circle looks uh, something like this. Every point on this circle is three and a half units from the center. So, you know, always think about your x and y coordinates being what numbers make the x and y zero. And then the radius is always the square root of the constant on the right side.